What's going on everyone? Jake here again. So earlier today I had someone get a hold of me on my you know I made a post on there on Facebook a while ago or earlier this year um, you know looking for scrap cars and stuff and I had someone get a hold of me today uh, just in town right around the corner actually said he had a 2007 Impala that he was looking to get rid of. He said he hit a deer with it and uh, you know didn't want to pay insurance wasn't going to cover it he didn't want to pay out of pocket. So I was like, well, it must be pretty bad then. I don't know. So I, I didn't ask him to send me any pictures of it, but so, so it was right around the corner. I was like, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll swing by and take a look at it. So I went over there and it was a pretty nice car. He said, uh, you know, just hit the deer and he, you know, like I said, he didn't want to pay to repair it. And really all it needed was a, or looks like all it needs is a, a hood, a headlight, and a bumper, uh, you know, on the front. And everything else looks okay. I can't, I couldn't get the hood open on it. Because the, uh, what do you call it, the hood latch cable is broken. So I wasn't able to open the hood. Um, but it starts right up and runs good. So I'm going back right now to pick it up and drive it home. Well, let's see how she does going home. So I ain't got too far to go with it. I'm trying to defrost the, well, defog the uh, windshield right now. Got the heat going. Hopefully it works. Although I didn't really let it warm up either, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna start driving this one for my own personal vehicle. So I'd like to have a car so I don't have to drive my truck all the time. But the guy said he's owned this thing four years. And uh yeah, he just didn't wanna he just didn't want to mess with fixing the the damage to it, which let's say really is just a hood and a headlight. I mean, I could throw a, I could throw a headlight in it and be fine to drive it. But uh, say a hood, hood and a headlight won't cost much. Go out to the U pole. Let's change oil soon. He said, uh, said it might be due for an oil change. He said it, it leaks or burns some oil too. So. Make sure I keep an eye on that. Don't want to blow it up. Alright. I'm not sure if the heat's working or not. It's still blowing kind of cool. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, hopefully I'll be able to fix it. Might be low on coolant. I didn't check. Well, I couldn't check. I can't get the hood open right now. Feels like the, uh, the latch is broken. Seems all right. It's driving nice. Yeah, I mean any any car that still runs and drives for you know three hundred bucks. Heck, that's that's a steal all day long. But, so now I've got this one, and uh, I've got an 05 Grand Prix at home. I've been doing some work too bought from a guy in town got it running and it's got a fuel leak I gotta fix and then it should be good to go and sell that one off to somebody well, the heat must be working because we cleared the windshield up so that's good the guy said he just put all new front end under it steering wise so it's got all new steering it's not pulling any left or right or anything so we're good there. Yep. Get right up to 60. Yeah, I like it. I'm pretty excited. I am feeling a... Maybe it's a wheel bearing or something. Kind of a rubby, grindy little bit on, my, on the floor where my left foot's at get on it a little bit so maybe needs a wheel bearing should be easy enough to replace but yeah so we're gonna get her home here and getting up to temp yeah I like it we got a definitely got a heck of a deal 
So, I'm sure you can hear it on camera, but we've just developed a clicking sound in the dash. I was messing with the, turn the AC on to see if the AC was working, and it blows cold, believe it or not. Oh, there it quit. That's probably the, uh, the blend door or something, some kind of actuator in the dash there. Catching, but it stopped. So, still good on temperature. Alright, so here it is. As you can see, here's the damage. Hood, headlight, I already pulled the headlight pieces out of there. Bumper. Broken there, broken there. So, say, I'm gonna go ahead and get another one. Tires are somewhat okay. I got a different, a couple different set of wheels I can probably put on it. But, a couple spots here and there. So I'm gonna get a different trunk lid with spoiler on it. And take that off of there. And some paint, peel here, scratches, whatever. I think most of these do that. Oh. Something there. And there's some damage to the rear bumper, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Somebody fixed it with something. I'm not sure what. And a little bit of rust here. And then some more paint issues. Open it up. It is filthy and completely reeks of cigarettes. Which I'm not real pleased about. But it is what it is. People smoke in their cars. I don't understand it. But they do. And then I managed to get the hood open. This uh, cable is all shredded tore up when I just reached under here and grabbed a hold of that and pulled on it because it wasn't working from inside the car but so we got 3500 v6 I think they're supposed to be pretty good motors I uh, got some oil leakage which he he did tell me about so either fix it or just check your oil often make sure it's topped off but yeah, so I'm going to be after a hood, headlight, front bumper, uh, the air box here that houses the computer, replace that, and then of course the hood release cable, nope, it just latched on me, and then all the hood latch stuff. So getting in here, let's see, it does need to, I have to vacuum it out real good and put some scent stuff in here because it just reeks like cigarettes, but put the key in it. So it does have automatic start, which I had to figure out because all these buttons are worn off, but you have to lock it twice and then hold that button down for two seconds and it, it starts up. So that's nice to have. Not turn it on here. As ice possible, drive with care. <laughs> Must sense that it's cold out. Hood open. Oh, it knows the hood's open. Change engine oil soon. Yeah, so probably do an oil change on it at some point. Um. Sure, where it tells us the down there 179,000 miles, which some people might think is a lot to me. I don't, I don't think it's that many. I've well, my truck there that I drive every day has got 268,000, I believe, just rolled over to. So, but even that to me for a diesel is not that much. Um. I do have an engine light on. I'll plug my scanner in and see what's up with that. That might just might just be on because of because uh, it's saying the oil needs changed. We got the this nice like marble look kind of finish. 
I like that. A lot of people don't like that. Like, you know, wood grain stuff in cars, I like it. My, even that truck there's got it. Um, yeah, so just your basic yeah, RPM gauge, temperature gauge, you know, fuel gauge, and speedometer. No tack, nothing like that, nothing real fancy. And then when you're heating AC, you got these, these rollers. And then, oh, there's that thing clicking again. I wonder why that is. And if it shuts off, I take the key out. It doesn't. Hmm. So something is sticking inside the dash. And then for your radio, we got, you know, regular radio, obviously. And then, uh, boy, that's annoying. Yeah, I have to figure that out. And then uh, we got a CD player. And then, luckily, we also have an aux jack. You plug your cable in, plug it into your phone. So that's nice to have. Well, I hope that shuts off soon. Man, what in the world? There it goes. Wow, that was annoying. <laughs> Anyways, so we got previous owner's trash down there, but we've got cloth interior, which I don't really care for. I like leather with heated seats, but it's all right. Cloth is okay. Um, then the other thing I don't really care for is this here. Got a shift on the column. Most of them had a full center console with cup holders. With this one actually has cup holders under there. But I like the ones with the full, the full center, the built-in center with the, you know, the uh, the shifter right here. And then you got the cup holders and all that fancy stuff. But it's all right. I say for three hundred bucks, really can't complain. Drove it home. It runs really good. And, they say really the only damage to it is that that uh, the hood and headlight and you know just handful of minor things. But let's do uh do a cold start. Why not? What did it say? Thirty two degrees. It starts right up. Runs good. He said he was driving it. He said he's had it. About four years or so, so. Yeah, should be good. Nope. What was that noise? And like it struggled to sh uh, turn off there. Let's see if it does it again. Hmm. That's off kind of funny, but so yeah. yeah, really can't complain for 300 bucks. That's a steal in my book, but so I'm gonna start old trusty up here and head to the junkyard, see what we can find. Alright guys, so I just left uh, the Fox Auto U-Pull in uh, Belleville, and uh, I think it's the first time I've been there that they had everything I needed. Usually, they usually got some stuff I need, but, you know, usually, you know, there's a couple things that are missing, but they put, I've got them on Facebook, so when they get a new row of vehicles in, or, you know, any new vehicles in, they post pictures, and, you know, so they're dated, so you know, uh, you know, you better get in there fast, and you know get your parts otherwise they're gonna be all gone they had probably about 10 or so Impalas and the first one I looked at had the hood and headlight I needed but not the other stuff so I went through all the other ones all the other ones you know all you know the front clips are are off of them because usually they're you know they're all hit in the front and um, so the very last one I looked at had the rest of the stuff I needed so I got everything I needed and then I got uh, also, the first one I looked at had my hood and stuff that I needed. It had a uh, trunk lid that had a uh, spoiler on it because mine uh, doesn't have a spoiler and I like the spoiler look. So I 
got uh, I got that too. And all together was 180 bucks. So really can't complain there. I mean, just the hood by itself would have been 200 some dollars if I were to buy it new. So I'm happy with that. I didn't really I didn't really film any of it because there was a lot of people there, and I only had a couple hours to get everything, and I was just trying to hurry up, get my stuff, and get out of there. So. But we are headed back home. I'm probably not going to work on it tonight. It's already getting dark out, but maybe tomorrow we'll go out and start pulling the parts off and start putting the new ones on. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think. Um, so you look out, probably, I'll probably post it tomorrow. Uh, the video of, you know, I'm going to start pulling parts and putting the new ones on that I found. So look out for that one. Um, of course, hit the, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be notified uh, every time I post something new. So, I say if you liked it, smash that like button, leave me a comment, uh, let me know what you think, let me know uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, and uh, as always, have a good one.